even though most of the people down the front have been here for the best part of an hour and a half now, there are still people coming in. And a big hi to those of you who are just finishing the march now. Our next speaker is from Focus on the Global South. She's a global poverty activist from the Philippines. Mary Lou Malik. The G20 is presenting itself as the saviors of the people and the planet. They say they are going to save us from this global crisis. But if we look at their proposed solutions, we can see that they are only interested in saving the corporations. They recognize that the cause of this financial crisis was that the banks and financial institutions were given too much freedom and in fact are now talking about regulating banks in the rich countries. However, for the rest of the world, they are insisting on more liberalization, on more deregulation, and on more of exactly the same kind of free trade rules which got us into this mess in the first place. They still haven't jumped the free trade dogma that has caused so much misery for people all over the world for the past 30 years. So they are proposing a global free trade deal and reviving failed institutions like the International Monetary Fund and the World Trade Organization. They warn of protectionism and so they are proposing to conclude a free trade deal. However, this World Trade Organization deal has always been about protectionism for the northern corporations and free trade for the rest of us. The G20 is an illegitimate body and does not have representation from the poorest countries nor participation of the people. The world is in crisis and we need real solutions that bail out the people and not the banks and corporations. We want an end to inequality and unfair trade rules. This is our moment to transform the system. And so let's say, G20, get out of the way. Global justice for all, put people first. This is a time for real radical change in the way in which we operate as a, as a, as a global economy, the way in which